so we're not in Gdansk yet. We're at Stansted Airport Premier Inn. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Smells in here, Harry. No, it's cleaning product, I think. Have a look in the mirror. And we go got get an interesting shot there. It's like the movies. How exciting! We're going on holiday! Whee! Lads, lads, lads! Glasses, that's in case the mobile ones don't work. Do you want to log in so you've got. Oh, why are you videoing me? He spotted us. With EasyJet, Ryanair, British Airways, you get yourself a mobile boarding pass and it, and it, it saves onto your phone. So if you don't have internet, it it's, you saves a copy to the app. But Turkish Airlines, if you're watching, your app doesn't do that. You need an internet connection. I didn't have an internet connection and I went to go, I was at passport control. I'd walked around all those, you know, back and forth, back and forth, all the barriers. And I had to show my boarding pass and it wouldn't come up. And so didn't get letter through and she said you need to go back to check and I had to walk against the crowd all the way back against people and the whole back to go to the check-in desk and they printed me one no problem. Why doesn't the app? I agree. Why I agree. doesn't the yeah. app let you access it yeah, offline? Tur- yeah, Turkish Airlines, sort it out. Turkish Airlines, sort supposedly the best airline in the world, supposedly. arguably. Supposedly. The app doesn't work offline. Sort it out. Ryanair can do it. So why can't you? <laughs> Eight o'clock tomorrow morning we fly. So we've come to stand to the airport and I'm like, why'd you laugh at me? <laughs> so, tomorrow morning, 8am, we fly to Gdansk. We're going to leave here at about 5 in the morning, do you think? No. No? No. What time are we going to leave here? What, leave the room, you mean? Leave this room. Leave the room at 5 in the morning. That's what I said. Alright, so we're going to leave the room at 5 o'clock, get on the bus to stand to the airport, which is just around the corner. We're going to have a little gin and a little vodka. I've got the vodka, Harry's got the gin. And uh, yeah, you, you will see us in the morning. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Um, spoiler, Harry loves an airport. Now, if you think you've seen someone that likes an airport, or you think you know someone who loves planes, you ain't seen nothing until you've seen this guy. It doesn't even look nice with his hair cut, by the way. Very smart and very nice. I you did it for Poland. Did it for Poland. You've seen nothing. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. It's a Qatar Airlines flight going on. Is that unusual? It's a Qatar flight from here. Qatar flight from here. Is that a cargo flight? Don't know. I've got a chip flight right now. Cargo. Qatar cargo. Ah. Passenger plane. It is interesting. Thank you. Thank you. We also won't be selling any products that contain. Told ya. He's like one of those little flies that are attracted to lights, but he's attracted to the departure boards and the rival boards. That is a nice one. That is a nice board. As far as they go, that is a nice one. Very hot, very really hot. Really uh, hot. I, we weren't expecting this much heat in early spring in Poland. We weren't expecting this. Very warm, it's very warm, very lucky. The train journey from the airport to here, the old town, it was about 40 minutes, I'd say 45 minutes. It was two pounds. That's and that, for both of that's us. That's for both of us. Very nice. 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 They like red. They like a bit of red here. Good work, Harry. Do you like it? It's 21 degrees today, isn't it? Apparently they're having a heat wave over here at the moment, which is good. Good timing. Just like the kind of buildings you find in Essex. Cheers. Very nice. Cheers. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Go on, Harry. How much do you think? One hundred twenty. Oh. Twenty-two. Oh, very good. Twenty-four pounds. Was it obvious? You, well, no, as in he was facing the other way, so you could have just videoed him from behind. Yeah. That's a boa constrictor. Boa constrictor. You a wallaby? Sorry. You bouncing? Okay. We need to tell them we came back. Right. So we came back earlier. Aaron had a bit of a nap. Um, and I've made a list of Maybe restaurants. Like baby. What? The baby had a nap. Right, well, <laughs> we came back an hour and went to sleep. Um, and I made a list of restaurants and bars on Google Maps. And now we're heading out to dinner by the river, which should be nice. <laughs> Very nice. Nice, isn't it? Nice, fine. Good right. top. Cheers. Cheers. That was about, was that 11 pounds each? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's 11 pounds each. Absolutely mad. Massive pizza. Yeah. And a drink. And a lemon cello. That is a bit fun. Yeah. Harry's done some research and we're going to a Soviet themed bar. Oh, no one in there. No one in, oh, there. No one in there, guys. What, you're gonna get what? Size of it. Look at that. Yeah, it tastes like Kinder Bueno. It's hazelnut liqueur, isn't it? Be careful, cheers. That does taste like a Kinder Bueno. Oh, I like that. Vodka and syrup in. Yeah. And it's Polish. It's a... For sliced meat pie. Harry's good friend recommended it to us, so. Cheers, it smells like cough medicine, doesn't it? Not sure on that one. It smells like Cavornia. So pretty. We just realised that that bar is 30 seconds from our hotel, which is good. Ladies and gentlemen, night one in Gdansk, day one in Gdansk has come to a close. I really like it here. There he is. There he is. First day in Gdansk is over. We've enjoyed it. We've seen a lot of the old town. Tomorrow we're going to go on a walking tour of the old town. Then we're going to go and get a traditional Polish, Polish dumplings. Dump dumplings. Gonna say goodnight now. You okay, Harry? Oh, he's off. Right, see you in the morning. Night. Video. Oh, <laughs> you in the bath. You fully clothed in the bath. <laughs> Do you like being in the bath in your clothes? Stop it. Morning. Say good morning, Harry. Great start to the day. This has just come up on my Facebook memories from a year ago today. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're on the floor. They're on the floor. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, this is too much. This is too much, Aaron. I don't like it. I don't like it. Some food. 
don't, I don't know. I'm not keen on. Jeez, Louise. No, no, we need to go. We need to go. We need, Aaron. We need to go. Oh, a bloody shave has died. Day two from Gdansk. Good morning, good morning. Stressful start to the day for me. I went to the bathroom to use my shaver and it had died. I had a full battery yesterday. It showed me the, th the, th the three bars saying full battery. Anyway, we are on our way to a cafe now. And then we're gonna go for the walking tour in 50 minutes. Yeah, let's go get something to eat. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please. Thank, thank you very much. Now these are proper dumplings, would you agree? Yeah, very nice. Look at those. Of walls and two lines of moat. Very interesting. We learned lots, didn't we? Yep, we did. World War Two kind of started off here. World War Two began in the post office behind us. The post office behind us. But we didn't get a chance to say what we thought of the dumplings because we were in a rush to get to the tour. But we both really well. I, I definitely did. You did as well, didn't really you? Really nice dumplings. Really nice. They had a uh, potato cheese. That was it, wasn't it? They were simple, but they were really they're, nice. They're really nice, uh -huh. yeah. We're going to go to a potato restaurant for lunch now. But there's a nightclub down the road here, which is in an old bunker, which I just want to have a look at. That is the most bizarre nightclub I've ever seen in my life. It's not open whilst we're here. I had a look. Opens Wednesday when we leave. Otherwise, we'd have seen what it's all about. To be honest, that's probably the best setup for a nightclub. No concerns of upsetting all the neighbours, I guess, with the music being too loud if you're inside that thing. We're going to climb the tower in the basilica that we were in earlier and get a good view of the city, hopefully. 409 steps, 82 metres. Let's crack on. Well, this is going to be a while. <laughs> we should listen to that song while we go up. What is it? Let's go round again. Let's go round again. Let's, Let's go round again. Oh, yeah. This building took 159 years to make. Five million bricks used to create it. It's a basilica. Don't ask me the technicalities of what that means, because I'm not too sure. We're at the top, aren't we? No. Oh, we are. <laughs> oh, wow. This is interesting. Oh, wow. This is the top. The highest, well, it's definitely the highest point. It's the highest building. We've looked around and there's nothing higher than us, so it must be. Worth coming up. And was it a pound each? £1.50 each. Pound 50 each, yeah. yeah. Bargain. Is it the main train station just over there? I think the Roller Clock Tower is, yeah. I say, yeah, so get in here, it's so easy. Main train station is just about there. You just walk down the road. Yeah, then you enter 
we didn't walk by the main road. We came down that street. If you remember, we walked from we walked into in, and then we walked down there, and then we came in this round. Yeah, but I guess you would just walk from over there, and then the uh, the gate to get into the old town bit is that all they need is a little bar up here. Bar like the Eiffel Tower had. Yeah, a little rooftop yeah, yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah, nice. Maybe I that could put nice. that in the uh, suggestions box when we go it's down. It's quite a small space for it, but yeah. Yeah. Something else I've noticed is it's not uncommon for there to be these big like front doors, like house front doors. And they are open, but they don't look open. Yeah, you, you look at that and you think they're closed for the day. Well, you think you're going to someone's house. It looks like a house, like someone's house. But you do just have to go through it comfortably. As Harry will now demonstrate. I got pistachio with berries. And Harry got. Got tiramisu. I hope this isn't a premature thing to say, but I haven't once felt unsafe. He's jinxed it now, I'll be mugged later. Will I taste the Baileys, do you think? Taste the Baileys. We're back at the hotel, I've just noticed. We've got a casualty from my cake earlier. It's nice dinner night, everyone. Nice dinner night. Right, nice dinner night, shall we? Let's go. Do you get the same as me? No, I've got the P, oh, I've got the pate equivalent. Thank you. Wow. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. When the egg timer is finished, the tea will be ready. It's very nice, very nice tea. Number two, I can believe that. That was really nice. That was a very nice restaurant, really nice. Oh, good, thank you though. Have a good night, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, thank you though. Best I'm sure they're <laughs> stirring this city, my friend. <laughs> 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 Lock on you, tar target acquired, target Hello, acquired. Hello gentlemen, I'm so sorry, maybe Broadway oh. Show Club. Oh good, thank you. Strip these, so pretty girls, go inside ah. for free. <laughs> Understood, I've got a wife at home. It's yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. How convincing did you think he was? Me? <laughs> Give me a little smile, I have a wife at home. Didn't get that one, but we were just offered a midget for free. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> Funny. He said, Do you want to go to strip club? As usual, he said, No. Yep. And then he said, But we have a midget. Oh, well, it changes everything, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we're back at our local. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Nice one. I'm looking forward to this one. That's an apple pie. Apple pie. <laughs> Oh, that smells really nice. That smells like Christmas. That smells like a Christmas cocktail. That is probably up there as one of my most favourite cocktails I've ever had. And you're totally right. It smells like it's Christmas. Right, I need to Google what's in this to tell you guys because this is... You, I may, you might even need to learn this one for me. I have to make that. Makes us, no, makes us... Saying that, you sound like my servant. The reason I say that, Harry... <laughs> you did just say it. 
No, don't, I don't mean it like that. Harry he, he is... He did just say you need to learn to make this for me. Yeah, no, no, because you're so good at making cocktails. And I always <laughs> say to you, oh, I don't know which one I want. That, no brainer all the time. Yeah, can no, I have an no, apple pie, please? Vanilla vodka, fireball whiskey, organic apple juice, brown cinnamon, brown sugar, and optional is a cinnamon stick for garnish. I ho, I ho, off to bed I go. Da 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 da. I ho, I ho, I ho. What a lovely evening. What a lovely evening. <laughs> Very nice evening. Lovely vegetarian restaurant. Really nice. Such a nice vegetarian restaurant. I even went round and filmed a bit at the restaurant. Harry, because you're so nice, he treated me tonight. So thank you, Harry. That's really kind of you. That's very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> it was part of the birthday present. Part, was, of, the, part was, of the birthday package. Was Poland and dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So thank you, Harry. That's really nice. Tomorrow we go to a different city and we'll tell you more. We'll, we'll tell you more about that tomorrow. Um, oh, it's not okay. Yeah, tell you about that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to bed now, get up nice and early, catch the train to our next destination for the day. Good night. Night night. Bye bye. Good morning from sunny Sopot. Good morning, it's a very lovely day, really warm. Very lovely day. Sopot is a town 20 minutes from Gdansk on the train. So Sopot is famous for three main things. The first one is this really long pier, which we'll go on a little yeah. later. It's got a really nice beach. Very nice Very beach. nice beach, very clean beach. I'm not used to going to clean beaches when you're from the UK. And it's also famous for its boutique spas. Do you know of any relation between this place and Southend? No. This town is twinned with Southend on Sea. I don't believe you. He doesn't believe me, ladies and gentlemen. Think you're b Are you b Have a look. Right, well, poor poor <laughs> Sopot, eh? Feel sorry for Sopot if that's that is the case. He feels he feels sorry for Sopot, but I don't hear an apology. Aaron might have been right on that occasion. Still doesn't sound like an apology to me. Aaron might have been right. Still sounds very far from, from an apology. Sorry, Aaron. That's okay. Well done. Thank you. The town of Sopot is part of the tri-state. So you've got Gdansk where we're staying, Sopot and Gdynia. Right, let's, uh, let's go and get something to eat and then we'll explore the area. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Turkish eggs, vinaigrette salad, some sourdough bread. Your juice looks good. It's really good. Look at that. Thank you very much. That is one of the nicest breakfasts out I've ever had in my life. Turkish eggs and pancakes for dessert. It's really nice. Beautiful. Food. Beautiful. Really nice setting, overlooking the beach, really nice. Oh, we're in the side below. Really yeah. Over there is the Baltic Sea. It's not something you can say every day, is it? Which Harry has swam in. I've no doubt if Harry hadn't have swam in it already, even though nobody else is in the sea right now, you'd have done it just so you could say you swam in the Baltic Sea. What people would have done here? Yeah. So what's your opinion on the Polish Baltic coast, Aaron? Beautiful. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I th I don't want to sound rude, but you wouldn't, if you saw a photo of this and someone said, where do you think that is? 
I don't think you'd say Poland. I don't think Poland would spring to mind. What I really like about it is all the greenery. That you've got the, there's a woods, massive woods there is behind the, the little town. And you've got a lovely golden beach. When I was in Lithuania last year, which is the same coast, just further, this Baltic coast just continues up past Kaliningrad and then up into Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia but they didn't have any black sludge on their beach. So I'm not really sure why there's a load of black muck on the beach here, but um, I don't know what it is. It could be mud. We've got our jackets on. You don't need jackets on. It's very warm. No, no, to be fair, we, I, just got, I, just got, I got a bit fed up of carrying it. Yeah, me too. It is, it is warm enough to not wear a jacket. So I'm from Russia. <laughs> Harry, I've never seen swans at the beach. This old man's taking a photo of his dog by the fountain. I just thought it was really sweet. We're going to get some scooters. <laughs> nice to see you. Good day. Mm. Our time in Sopot is coming to an end. We get back on the train to Gdansk and have dinner back in the city. Okay, so last night in Gdansk. Very sad. Really sad. It's been a lovely time. All really good things nice. must come to an end. Yeah, it's been a lovely time. Really liked it. Sopot was lovely today and the Baltic coast never fails to impress. It was really good. If you're ever coming here, make sure you go there. It's only 20 minutes on the train. It's not very expensive to get to. Best breakfast I've had abroad ever, I think. That, so that nice. breakfast was amazing. That that restaurant we had breakfast at, which, we, which your, your tag, I'm sure, oh, was very, very nice. But no, so we're going for pierogies. Polish dumplings for the final night dinner and then we've got most of the day tomorrow because our flight's not until 8 p.m. is it? Correct. So 8 p.m. flights we've got all day tomorrow. This is how I started as a red lentil spread for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, and crepe soup. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Pear and cinnamon, and then this is like forest fruits of the forest. Smells bloody lovely. Which one shall we try first? Pear, I think. That one. That's what I was hoping it's. <laughs> Yeah. I like the glasses. Me too. It's nice. It is nice. I don't know what a tincture is. What, can you ask Siri what, what is a tincture? So it is fruit, sugar, honey, molasses, herbs. It's a Polish drink. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this one smells nice. <laughs> this, no, this I don't like this one. This isn't nice. Like this one. We've, I've kept a bit of this yeah. to get rid of the taste of this when I finish this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So this is made with the gold vasa beer, which is the Gdansk special drink, which is beer with bits of gold in it. Coming back for the last time. Well, we've had a nice fall last day. Tomorrow we've got most of the day. Um, we don't need to be at the airport till 6pm, so we've got most of the day. What we're going to plan is to have brunch about 11, and then we're just going to, then at about, about 4, we're going to have probably some dumplings, final meal, and then head to the airport. Gonna eat some more snacks, go to bed. I need to pack, but I think I'll do that in the morning. I reckon I can do it in five minutes. See you for the final part of our trip. 
See you tomorrow. See you later. Bye bye. Um, it's been a lovely stay. Um, goodbye, room. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. If there's ever a drink that looks like a princess, I'd have it. It's, often, it's always Aaron's. I spent a half a year on the where we were sat last night. It was very nice. Pan round to the church up there. It looks really nice up there. There it is. Nice, isn't it? Really nice. So show, the, show the front of the place. It's not the main entrance, I don't think. Yeah, but it, says, it says the name in it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. American wheat. Both porter, best leader, and lager. We were in a pickle what to do because we've done everything, so we thought we'd come for a little beer. There's one thing we hadn't done, and that is try six different types of beer. We're being watched by people. This one and this one are my favourite so far. So we've got we've got two hours before we need to go to the airport. Yep. So so time for more more drink. We're going to go back to the potato restaurant to have a very late lunch, early dinner. Hopefully that will get us through to when we get back into the UK later this evening. Well, we've been here, it's been really quiet, but today's really busy. Yeah. I think this city is only going to get more and more busier as the years go on. It is a hidden gem. I would come, I would definitely come out whilst. Yeah. It? Come, like whilst it's like this. Come before very it nice. gets too touristy. See you in a bit. Thank you. Thank you. So that is it. We have left the old town walls. We're now in modern Gdansk, which we are not showing you because there's not too much to see. I want to go back that way. <laughs> really sad. I don't like when things come to an end. I know. That city will live on far beyond our years. Oh, that makes me feel really crap. We've been so lucky with the weather. Um, it, it's been 20 degrees the last two days. It's been crazy. I did not anticipate Poland being this hot in this, this time of year. We're on our way to the airport now. Back to the train station. It's going to yeah. take like 40 minutes. And yeah. then flight on time. Yeah. Yeah, we've got lucky again. We've we've both been given extra legroom seats for free. Yeah, Ryanair have also allocated us the extra legroom seats. Way out and way, and way back, which is, I've never had that with Ryanair before. No. So I don't, we, we've been very fortunate. Very lucky. We'll see you at the airport for our final goodbye from Poland. We're back. He's on a mission to get some absinthe. 55% that'll do. Got a choice of 68% absinthe or 55% absinthe. I'm gonna go for the 55 because I think that's enough for us. So, signing off for the last time from Poland. From Gdansk airport. Security was well quick. That's the quickest I've been through security. There was no one there. No one there. I had a fantastic trip. Thank you once again for my birthday and Christmas present. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed it. I really did. did. You enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. Thank you. Sopa and Gdansk were both really nice. Really nice. I think everything's been equal. It's good. 
It has, and the really food. I, I, for me, maybe it's the, the food. Yeah, no, I think the food has been a highlight. It could be the food for me, yeah. The, that food, was... the food and beer has been a highlight. <laughs> um, our plane has landed. Is it? It's, it's I think, yeah. Is that it there? That's come from Oslo. I'm going to leave links to most of the places we visited in the description. There's not one thing that we did that I wouldn't recommend. Mm -hmm. Every single restaurant that we went to was so nice, as well as the bars. One of the charms of the place is that you don't get hassled by anyone, do you? You don't. At most cities you go to in Europe, you do get hassled, and the closest it came to that was in the evening when we had about a million propositions to go to strip clubs. But even that, they were totally yeah, polite and nice, it? weren't they? Just trying their luck. It's been a really good trip, really good. Definitely. Really good. As always, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. I can't believe this just happened, but I went to put the SD card back into the camera and it pinged out of the SD card socket, pinged onto the ground. I went through this little hole in the ground. Thankfully I've backed everything up, but that's quite sad.